Uh, my right honourable friend, the Secretary of State, is absolutely right that, of course, trade brings prosperity, it brings jobs. But global Britain is about much, much more than trade. And uh, it is about our shared values, our respect for human dignity, human rights, equality, the rule of law, freedom, democracy. It's about how we work with others who share those values in to establish the rules-based and maintain a rules-based international order that protects those uh, values. Uh, and sadly, what we saw last week in the United States shows us how fragile the value of democracy can be when it is under pressure from populism and nationalism fuelled by messages disseminated on social media. And at the current point for the, the United Kingdom, post-Brexit, dealing with Covid, yet to deal with the societal and economic impacts of dealing with Covid, it is absolutely imperative that we reject any push towards nationalism and isolationism and that we recognise the importance of Global Britain. Indeed, it is more important today than I think than it ever has been. Yeah, yeah. Now, Global Britain, if we're going to lead as we can this year in G7 and the COP26, we also need to see a change in world politics, where absolutism, that you're either 100% for me or 100% against me and there's no compromise allowed, uh, has, taken, has taken hold. We need to move away from the world of strong men facing up to each other. We need to find more ways in which we can work with those to share our values because those values are under threat and we need to work together to protect them. Global Britain has that position this year that enables us to do this. But in order to do it, we need to live our values ourselves. And I have to say to the government that threatening to break international, an international treaty shortly after signing it that threatening to break international law and that cutting our international aid does not enhance our impact and, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. impact yeah, of global yeah. Britain. In fact, it makes it harder for us yeah, as yeah. global Britain to get our message around the world. Yeah, yeah. We have been respected because of our 0.7%, respected because of what we do, not just because we're British. But in the very few uh, seconds that are available to me, Mr Deputy Speaker, I want to, to mention one issue which is a clear and present danger to global Britain, and that is the breakup of the United Kingdom. And we've talked in this chamber, we often talk about uh, Scotland and about how important uh, uh, being part of the UK is to the Scottish economy. The reality is England needs the rest of the UK as well. Yeah, yeah. The United Kingdom has a seat on the uh, Security Council of the United Nations. Yeah. I doubt that England would have a seat on the Security yeah, Council exactly. of the United Nations. Exactly. We need to think about the impact of this, and I particularly want to mention my concern about Northern Ireland at the moment, because we have seen that issue of those empty supermarket shelves, not all due to the protocol, but certainly the protocol is playing its part and the government needs to deal with this issue. Global Britain has a role to play on the world stage, but in order to do that, the government needs to ensure that we maintain the integrity of the United Kingdom. Yeah.